let's see if we can simplify a bunch of these logarithms here. So this first one, common log of 10, we want an exponent on there, so we assume this exponent of 1. Then the common log and the 10 to a power undo one another and leave us with just the 1. If I want to take common log of 1,000, I want to rewrite this as 10 to a power. And so remember that when it comes to ones followed by a bunch of zeros, it's 10 raised to the power of however many zeros you got. So 1,000 would be 10 to the third power. Then the common log and the 10 to a power undo one another and leave us with just 3. Now, like we saw in the last lesson, when you have fractions, in particular 1 over, you want to think about this as a negative exponent. So 1 tenth is 10 to the negative first at which point the common log and the 10 undo one another, leaving us with just negative 1. We had also talked previously about the fact that radicals should always be written as powers. That way we can handle them like powers. The square root should be the 1 half power. Now the common log and the 10 to a power undo one another, leaving just 1 half. When it comes to natural log, remember that natural log undoes e to a power. So this natural log undoes e to the power of 3, leaving just the 3. And if we had a radical, we would rewrite it as a power. So instead of the fifth root, we'd have the 1 fifth power, at which point the natural log and the e to a power undo one another, leaving us with just the 1 fifth. And so hopefully you have some experience with the generic logarithms of any old base that we've done previously. And so now we're just dealing with two special bases. Base 10 for common log when you don't write a base. And if it's ln for natural log, then we assume the base is e.